please read the disclaimer. Hello and welcome! I'm Bio and today I'm looking at some anime randoms. This time around obviously we're looking at Dimps games, Dimps developed games for Dragon Ball. We looked at Budokai 3 last time, this time around we're looking at Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure on the Game Boy Advance. I have played this game once before, so yeah, it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up. Not too bad if I remember correctly, uh, pretty decent. So just to give you a little bit of uh, information, the game obviously is developed by Dimps. It was published by Atari, um, as they all were back then, and it was released in June uh, 2006. So there you go. So let's um, let's jump straight into the game. Like I said, if I remember correctly, this game is really good. I'm going to put on easy because I I suck at video games. Standard. I forgot you could do one on one. Once upon a time, deep in the mountains, a great adventure was about to begin. As Goku was working hard at his training, a girl came along. The girl's name was Bulma. She was a cute, strong-willed girl. When Bulma saw the ball Goku kept as a memento, she made him an odd proposition. It was a beautiful ball that had stars inside it. It was called a Dragon Ball. They were very unusual balls. There's a lot of talking about balls here, aren't there? <laughs> and when all seven are gathered together, it is said that the Eternal Dragon appears and grants anyone wish. And so, from unexpected beginnings, Goku and Bulma wind up on a journey, together to seek out the remaining Dragon Balls. I'm going to give you an unpopular opinion here, straight from the get-go. Just to, just to make it, just, just to... <laughs> Just to rile you up. Unpopular opinion coming up. Ready? You ready for it? Dragon Ball is better than Dragon Ball Z. I've seen Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Super Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Kai. I've seen them all. All the Dragon Ball Z movies, the Dragon Ball movies, the OVAs, the, some of the specials as well. I've seen pretty much all Dragon Ball anime content there is out there, pretty much. I've even seen that OVA that um, I, uh, that they remade for Raging Blast 2. I've seen the original. Now you're fan-subbed, but still. And I st stand by the statement that the original Dragon Ball series is immensely better than Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z just devolves into fucking stupidity the more it, it goes on. The Saiyan Saga, pretty good. Freezer Saga, pretty good. The Android Saga is when it starts to get fucking stupid. Gets a little bit ridiculous. I don't really... Like... I I, I like Cell in Dragon Ball Z at Bridged. <laughs> but in the original, he's just... He's not that particularly good villain, in my opinion. And then you got the Majin Buu Saga. By far the worst saga in the entire fucking series. In my opinion, it is. It's, of course, nothing beats GT. GT is going to be objectively the worst series. And I've seen the entirety of GT. It is not good. It, by, by any means, it is not good. But the Majin Buu saga is also not good. It's, the, it's not only the longest saga in Dragon Ball Z, it's also the worst saga. That could also be an unpopular opinion of mine. I don't really care. That's my stance on it. Whereas the original Dragon Ball series, I, I just preferred it. I, I find that Dragon Ball now is just a diversion of... It's like Goku with Ultra Instinct. It's like, fucking, are you really? I watch Dragon Ball because I enjoy... I enjoy the, the world, the, the characters. The story, on the other hand, the story is kind of stupid. Like, Super Dragon Ball, it's... it's, a, it's most Like, Super Dragon Ball, I watched it, and, like, some of the arcs were kind of stupid. Like, the one with Goku Black... Fair enough. Goku is like one of the strongest characters in the entire universe. So for, him, for someone to kind of take over his body and whatnot, it's fantastic. Like fantastic. So not that we haven't already seen that before with someone like Captain Ginyu. But then, um, but it's quite a little bit. Then it's obviously that you got the actual tournament arc, and the tournament arc is a tournament arc. Everyone loves a tournament arc, you know. 
I didn't. Because Yamcha wasn't there. It's like Yamcha can Yamcha can be a strong... I like Yamcha. Yamcha is the underdog. He is. Like, Yamcha, Tien, they all get shafted. They all do. Because um, Krillin even gets shafted to some degree. I'm like, they're some of the strongest Earthlings. And they have the potential to become stronger. Like, didn't Yamcha, Tien, Krillin learn Kaioken from, from King Kai? And yet you never see them use it. Oh, but it expends too much key. Okay, but I'm talking... you telling me they can't use it for 10 seconds just to get a really strong hit in or something? In a desperate situation? No, they never use it. May maybe it was explained. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but fuck me. It's just like, I don't... It's like, they don't get any stronger. Goku just and Vegeta just keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And it's just fucking ridiculous. If Dragon Ball went the way that Akira Toriyama wanted it to go... I think it would have been good. Because um, Akira Toriyama wanted to end Dragon Ball Z on the Frieza saga. And that would have been perfect. That would have been really good. But they, because it was so popular, they, he, he was told to continue it by ed ed his editors. So he tried to make Gohan the new protagonist. And obviously people didn't want that, did they? Which sucks, because uh, that would have been that would have been good. And Because Gohan in himself has also been shafted in, to some degree. Not as much as Tien and Yamcha and the such, but still. I also find there's better characters in Dragon Ball than the original. Let's be honest. General Blue. Oh, I remember General Blue. Even Emperor Pilaf is a little bit annoying, but he was alright. Musashi. Oh. Android 8. Oh. Fantastic. I mean, in all fairness, that, that, that saga was really, really good. Or sort of arc, saga, whatever you want to call it. Where he goes to the snow village. Goku goes to the snow village and he like fights up that tower. You got Android A, you got Musashi, and other characters. General White, I think, was there when he. It's fucking good. I, I do enjoy. Why is there not a Dragon Ball Kai? I would watch the shit out of that Dragon Ball Kai. So, really, really good. Even the fillers are not that bad. Some of the fillers in Z are just. Ugh. But anyway, there you go. I've, I've had an, another video where I'm just talking too much. If you haven't noticed already, from, from me attacking one enemy, it's very similar to uh, the N uh, Ninja Council games, with, ha with looks and kind of play how it plays as well. But the music is quite good in this. Ah, he's got a gun! I have the burger. <laughs> he find the burger. Is that what it was? Just a burger? Get out of here, bird. Oh. But yeah, there you go. That's my unpopular opinion. When it comes to Dragon Ball. Is, um... Oh, I, I think these are just respawning. And that is that... Dragon Ball is, in my opinion, is much better. Yeah, they just respawn. Just keep moving then. Get your gun and um, shooting me, boy. But I, like, I... I, you got to realize, I live in the UK, right? We didn't really have Dragon Ball on TV back in the day. We just didn't really have it. We had, like, the Ocean dub, and, like, that aired for a very short period.
yeah, aired for a very short period. So most of, you know, I my first experience with Dragon Ball was the video games more than anything. If I'm honest with you. It, yeah, it was definitely the video games that I first experienced with. Oh, Goku. Good boy. So, when I ended up watching Dragon Ball, it was I watched it online, obviously, because you know, how else you do realize like also like the DVDs took a long... Oh, he just keeps respawning. Uh, the DVDs didn't start coming out in, like, the UK until very late by Manga Entertainment. Oh, fuck you. I hate that, where you you jump and you lose all momentum when you jump. Like, just because I decided to attack in the air, it decides to... Decides to cut all my momentum. It didn't put me that far back. You just gotta keep moving forward in the game. Don't worry about the flying enemies that much. If you get to a segment like this, flying enemies are the worst because you don't really have like the, the the combos in the game are there aren't really that many combos. Really? All right. Whatever. Yeah, there aren't really that many combos in the game. Just ignore those enemies and just keep moving forward. Here we go. Right. Might as well just fucking ignore them. That's just a cheap shot. Alright, because this bird will knock me off. Come on. So hard, I'm just... Ah, fuck off! The, I hate... It's one of the things I hate the most. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I hate this in fucking 2D scrolling beat-em-ups. Where you have a flying enemy that you can't attack. No, this. This is dog shit. Why is there no combos in the air? Do not program your game with zero combos in the air. It just a poorly designed game at that point. Like, Goku's got combos on the ground, but he's got no air combos, which is stupid, because he would have air combos. Oh no, look, there is a chance of there being something kind of combo in the air, but not, re not really, <laughs> not particularly any good. Ignore all of that. There we go. So we get to a checkpoint. All right, keep moving. I've got an extra life, I think, from there. Oh, good. Chances are. Oh, we got the dragon radar. Okay. Food? Could do with some food, if I'm honest. Shouldn't be able to hit me from down there, but whatever. Food. A little bit of food again. Alright. Oh, fucking. Oh, I hate these flying enemies so much. They're so shit. Oh, oh, chicken! Oh, beautiful. I'll take that. But I do, I, I, don't get me wrong, I think this is a pretty decent game. It's just, there's certain thing, you could, you could, you could, if you wanted to, have slightly better controls. Or a bit more, a few more combos here and there. And that would, uh, in my opinion, bring it to perfection.
goodbye. Oh, is this like boss battle? Yeah, we got this guy. I remember this guy. Hey kid, how about handing over that delicious looking sea turtle? You wouldn't happen to be a bad guy, would you? Hmm? Don't tell me you're going to defy me. I'm not giving him over the likes of you. Insolent brat. If that's how you want it, I'll eat you first. Well, get fucked. <laughs> And there we go, area clear. Right, I think we'll, we'll, we'll call it there. But um, I do enjoy Dragon Ball as a series, don't get me wrong. I just find there's a lot of bullshit elements of it. There's, as there is with a lot of anime series, Naruto has bullshit elements, Bleach has bullshit elements, One Piece has bullshit elements. They all have them. They, 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 none of them are faultless. Um... I just, like I said, I just enjoyed when I watched through the entirety of Dragon Ball, and then I watched through the entirety of Dragon Ball Z, which, by the way, I did have years ga a years gaps in between watching both of them because I didn't want to burn out on it. Um, I would honestly say I enjoyed watching Dragon Ball more, and it was I, I know well, I didn't like watching in bulk. I eased into it. I was watching like one episode a night for both, so it took me about a year to watch the entirety of Dragon Ball Z, with well, a little bit less than a year to watch all two was it 291 episodes because i was watching one episode a night and the same go but obviously half a year for dragon ball so that's how i watched them same with gt i watched gt one episode a night and um so i watched them all the same and i've just honestly dragon ball in my opinion is just better the writing is better the the, the character interactions are better some of the characters are, are just good i, I like how human Goku feels I get I guess in Dragon Ball in comparison to Dragon Ball Z because he just feels overpowered all the time like it feels like in Dragon Ball Z they just kind of have to keep creating these unbelievably strong entities to try and keep Goku in check <laughs> instead of uh, Goku just being a, a, a really strong kid um, because obviously he's not human and going up against these like powerful guys because like it's like a, I think a general blue and I think, would, could, could General Blue take down some of the other characters in the series? His ability was to freeze you. I don't know how it worked. But Jiren. He could look at Jiren, freeze Jiren, and Jiren couldn't move. You Oh, but he could break free. Well, you don't know that. You don't know the ins and outs of fucking General Blue's ability. And General Blue just walks up to Jiren and stabs him in the throat 20 times with a knife. Something the Red Ribbon Army probably would do. Like, the whole entire reason General Blue didn't outright kill Goku was because he was a kid. Most a lot, of, a lot of Goku's opponents in Dragon Ball underestimated him because of him being a kid. Or else, you know, they probably would have outright tried to just kill him. So, but yeah, it's just, you know, there's some characters I kind of enjoy. Like, I, I enjoy Mercenary Tao, like the arc involving him. He was made out to be quite a strong strong opponent and he was to some degree in dragon ball and then he's just he comes back in like z i think as an as a cyborg as more of a joke than anything else and it's just unfortunate because there's that's all they can be can can't they it's like yamcha yamcha he just becomes a joke to the series doesn't he because what else can he be he was actually he, when people forget he was just like krillin and and he he was he was just like krillin he was a uh, someone who was training and under the under um master roshi to become stronger and yet he just gets put to one side as a joke character now it's just not it's unfair how some of the characters in dragon ball are, featured, uh, are treated but anyway yeah, that's my two cents you know I've, I've gone on long enough i would say that advanced adventure is a pretty decent game quite enjoyable and i'll um we'll call it there and i'll see you in the uh, next video see you later